Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you a couple things about audio and how to modify it to sound better and how to reduce background noise and things like that. Okay. So we have a clip here I just made. It's a really short one. Let me go ahead and increase the size so we can actually see what we're working with here. And you'll see the sound wave here. You also see some background noise here. So what we're going to do is show you how to get rid of this pretty quickly. So what you're going to do is select the clip here. We're going to go up to the equalizer thing here. And you're going to click reduce background noise. Okay, but let's make, let's take a note of uh, how much background noise we have here. We got a little bit here. We got a little bit here. So let's watch how that is actually altered. So go ahead and do that. And you can also control the percentage of that background noise. So if you have a, a low hum in the background or maybe your mic is super sensitive, this can actually help you here by increasing the, the amount of background noise reduction. So you can see it's still a little bit there, but let's increase this. See if we can get rid of that. Okay, looks like it's getting lower and lower. So you'll notice zero. And we'll put it at 50. And then we'll put it like at 100. So really, you won't be able to hear this at all once you, you add a little bit of noise reduction. I usually hit it around the 50 mark, give or take a little bit. Okay, so that gets rid of that background noise. But one thing you also want to do is make it sound better. So what I've found recently is you can actually go to the equalizer here. And I found this music enhance actually adds a bunch of compression and, you know, extra modification of the, the sound file to make it sound more professional, more like radio or a really good podcast. But you'll notice it does actually ramp it up pretty high. So what I usually do is back down this audio a little bit. So I'm barely in the yellow, you know, just a little bit. And you'll actually be able to see the other background noise here. So we can probably kick that up just a little bit. And with that enhancement, we can really tell how much the background noise reduction has actually worked. So I'll check, uncheck, check, uncheck. So it really does cut out a lot of that background noise automatically. And of course, at that point, if it's not enough, we can go in and do it manually by holding the R key and uh, selecting the area and just ramping it down ourselves even more. Okay. Again, hold the R key, drag your mouse or trackpad to cover the area you want, and then you can reduce it. And of course, if you need to increase it, maybe this is too low, you can do the same thing. And you can actually increase that area a little bit too, yeah. So you got full customization here. It's a really cool feature. But the automation part, the actual clicking the checkbox here and and then picking the percentage here has really helped save me a lot of time because normally I would do it manually just to get rid of all the stuff I didn't want. But I found that my mic is good enough at not picking too much up. So if I put like a 50% noise reduction, it automatically just gets rid of anything that can be heard on headphones by, you know, the human ear. And just recently, I've also started messing around with this enhancement here. And I found that the music enhancement has been the one that I kind of like the best for the sound of my recording. Well, I think that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. We'll see you next time. Peace and aloha.